Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a um, 21, 2021 G70. Um, customer complaint is if you're gonna go reverse. Wait, let me start the vehicle. Let me go reverse. And it says check system, right? So we got a problem on our parking sensors on the rear. So I'll just scan for codes on this DTC and we're just gonna go straight to our um, parking distance warning. Do we have it there? No. Okay, we'll go to the BCM. So I have a case like this already before. Um, it's it's one of the wire. It's a lean bus wire, so it's a communication wire that's got damage on, not damage, like it's an open circuit, has a too much resistance going uh, from the bumper going to our module, right? So our module is at there. Um, we need the glove box, right? It's the IBU there. So we have this um, codes here. All four sensors are active right um, so I already asked my one of the apprentice to do one each because it could be a one sensor that's shorted and it corrupted the whole uh, lean bus or the communication line so I asked him to remove each one sensor and just rescan and clear and everything right? like that right so it didn't help so I'm thinking right now that it could be the same on what I diagnosed last time that I didn't make a video so right now if I'm right if it's the same scenario I'm just gonna make a video so that you guys know because this is the second time already so second time but a different vehicle so I don't know it's gonna be a common issue on this one so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna hook up my scope and there's one big connector here on the kick panel that's gonna be a um, I think the connector is MF11 and that splits going uh, across the dash and going to our IBU so um, we're gonna monitor those signals and we'll see um, if I'm right if it's the same um, problem with my previous case and we'll see alright guys so our plan is this is the wiring diagram for our parking sensors. Our concern is this four here for the rear. So first I hook up one channel on this MF11 going to our IBU. And second is I hook up one in here on this connector here. And then one on a... Uh, where the harness is. I'm gonna show you on where I hook all those um, scope leads and we'll see and monitor our um, data. So as you can see I remove our bumper and uh, it's just pretty straightforward. This is not like the Hyundai ones that the bolt on the bumper is at the bottom of the car. It's inside on this panel here, right? So there's one lead here and there's another lead here um, I'm suspecting on this area because this is where it you know um, what I call it, squeeze right because if there's something if there's something wrong here because I don't want to go here because that goes into the car as you can see there and this big harness here right so I just put our leads there right And then one lead on that um, MF11, and that's for going to the IBU. So, okay, let's go inside the car. Okay, so right now, what we have is the blue one that's inside the car, the green one that's on that connector near the bumper, and the red one is the broken one. Oh, not the broken one, where the um, the turn of the harness so if I'm gonna go start this vehicle 
okay so as you can see there um, they got the green has what's voltage in this guy here so that's 12 volts right and the red let's see got 13 Point 0.9 right and the blue is going to the 13.8 so as you can see here clearly now that in the red one that's where we put that um, one channel on that um, loop on the harness there's a voltage difference already but we will find out on this one here right now if because when you put it in reverse, that's, a start, uh, that's the start of the communication. So if I'm going to put it in reverse, okay, so as you can see there are blue and red, right, are the same, right? The green didn't do anything at all, right? Let me pull uh, lower this red one here, or you know what, let's change the voltage here. A red so that everybody can see it so as you can see there when there's a communication it pulls down near to the ground on our green we're near on that um, bumper that connector there's nothing so now we're inspecting expecting that there's an open circuit on the green wire or my scope lead going to this red one so to let me put this in park so to to verify that there's an open circuit on that one let's put a jumper wire on that one going to that red one and I'll expect that the green one will start have a communication right so let me put that one okay so um, I got this um, jumper leads here so what we did is we know that we have a good uh, communication from here and this guy didn't do anything at all so what we're gonna do is um, I put a jumper wire from here going there and our parking sensor should start working now so let's go back to the car and let's see okay so we're back right now let me start the vehicle Now I'm going to put in reverse, see that, right now we have communication on the green one, let me adjust that voltage here, and you can hear that beeping, because our sensors are working now, right? See that there, it's detecting now, because we have that, uh, we jumped that, so now we're going to inspect that harness side there and see if we have that um, broken wire or if it's visually that we can see it right if not I'm just gonna go ahead and overlay a new wire instead of looking for it and that's it okay so now we know that we have an open circuit from here going there so all we need to do is just visual inspect and see maybe we can find it if I'm lucky today we'll find that wire right because instead of taking out this um, protection tape might as well just overlay a new wire and you know um, just connect it there but if we can find it maybe we can repair on that section only right so I'm gonna start on this side because you know how it sits like that right so it's pinch in there so I'm gonna start in here maybe if we can find something let me remove these wires here okay I see something okay let me move my camera okay so I can see this white one here so you see that and that's in the loop in there so let me remove this guy here 
So if that's our problem, if I'm just gonna pull this each wire, it will break, meaning this is our problem, right? So I'm just gonna pull this each. Oh yeah. So that's our problem. So at least we're lucky. So it's either I'm gonna put new wire here like that and that should fix our problem. Okay guys, we're back. Um, so I just opened up our tape here. Um, we're just gonna cut here. Cut on this side too. Just to make sure that corrosion, because most likely this is a corrosion problem. That's why it broke. Um, and then we're gonna over uh, put a new wire. So as much as possible we use the same gauge of wire or the same diameter, right? If you can find something, right? And the same color. That's gonna be better because at least the other guys who's working on it will not get confused. But you know, if you can find the same wire, it's okay. As long as as much as possible it's the same gauge of wire. Right? So I ran out the heat shrink, so I you know this is too big for this wire, as you can see that, right? Um, and every time you wire repair, it's passive, um, it's good practice that you heat shrink first. At least it will seal what you wire, you repair the wire, and then we can put some electrical tape, right? So. Uh, Put this in first. Put this guy there. So before I will completely seal this and solder it, um, let's go back to our car, inside the car, and let's check the operation of the reversed um, parking sensor. Alright guys, so I'm gonna start the vehicle now. Okay, I'm gonna put it in reverse. Okay, so rear parking sensor is working. Uh, it proved on our communication line here, the LIN bus, the green wire that's on that um, connector itself. And I re just removed our red one because that's where I repaired the wire. 
and the blue one is inside the car so I'm just gonna seal that up and put everything back together but for sure this car is fixed um, I don't know if this is gonna be a common issue on the G70s but this is the twice that I have a, the same problem and the same area where the wire is broken so um, so we know this car is fixed and I don't know if it's gonna be a common problem on this G70s because this is my second time with different vehicle and the problem is in the same location the wire is broken in that area so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time thank you for watching